Hello, Pastor Martha. It's such a blessing to have you here today. How are you? I am doing great. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Yep. So excited to be here with you too. Nathan, We're going to have a good time tonight. <laughs> yeah. Nathan, Sophia and I are all so excited to have you here with us today. We're so excited to be singing your song because of who you are, which we all really, really love. We've been singing it for years at church and we're also so excited to hear you share a little bit about yourself, your music, your ministry and particularly about your song. We hope that's okay with you. That is great with me. That is great with me. Just, just, uh, well, I'm excited to spend this time with you guys and just to talk a little bit and get to know you. And are we ready to go? I can start right now. I can just jump in and start talking. <laughs> I have been singing and leading worship for many, many years, probably since I was about your age. Um, Nathan, probably about since I was your age. And I, I sang with my family. I sang with my twin sister and my older sister. I have a twin sister named Mary. I have an older sister, her name is Marveline. And I traveled with my mom and dad. And as young kids, about just like you guys, we traveled all over the world and we sang and we ministered in churches and we just had a great childhood, just giving our voices to the Lord and our ministry to the Lord. My dad would preach and we would sing and, and it was just a great way to, to grow up. And then I've always been involved in my local church. Um, no matter what age I was, in, I was, I was involved in my local church and I met my husband in the local church. And we uh, got married and started having kids and started writing songs. And it was really our heart. I, I wrote, I actually wrote one of my first songs when I was about 16. And then I just kind of kept writing from there. And then I didn't really start really writing songs like Because of Who You Are until my kids were about, were, were a little bit younger than you. They were, they were uh, little. And the Lord gave me the song Because of Who You Are. And so my songwriting really kind of kicked in later in my life. But even as a teenager, I loved to write songs. I just wasn't very good at it. But I, <laughs> but I, I kept working at it until I got good at it. Yeah. And just I've been traveling and ministering, my husband and I, Dan, and uh, we've been traveling for many years all over the world. And then just about five years ago, we started a church in Orlando, but we still travel and then we still write songs and we still do records and, and we pastor church. So it's really great. And I've had the opportunity to write songs and minister all over the world. And maybe hopefully one day soon I'll come to Sydney. That'd be amazing. Maybe I'll come to Indonesia and, and come to different places. That would be great. And, um, and sing and minister because it's just my heart. I love worship. I love that you guys love worship at the, at the stage of life you're in, as young as you are, that you've just given your voices, given your lives to Jesus, and you use all of your gifts for Him. And you just cannot imagine the blessing that's waiting on you because you've made that choice. And there's nobody like Jesus. There's nothing like singing for Him, singing worship songs. I found that to be the case in my life. And my songs have gone all over the world. I could have never made that happen. That was, that was the work of the Holy Spirit. And, and that was just me saying, Lord, if you, if you give it to me, I'll sing it. I'll write it. I'll give it back to you. And then he took it and, and uh, took it all over the world. And I'm just so honored. And that's how we met. We met and your mom and dad and all of you guys and, and myself, we met through the music. Really, we met through social media because of the music. And so it's amazing how God can bring us all together, even when we're in different parts of the world. I'd love to ask you guys a couple of questions because I'll, I'll tell you what, I have watched some of your videos and if you're watching this and you've not watched their videos, you are missing out because their videos are incredible. I'm going to tell you something. They are state of the arts. I don't know who produces your videos and your, your songs, but they are amazing. So good. And I listen, Sophia, I listen to your song, Great Is Thy Faithfulness. I listened to it so many times and every time I heard your voice just singing so beautifully, I telling you, I started crying, I sobbed and it was so beautiful, God's presence on your voice and the way you worship and you're so, you're only six years old. I don't even know how that's possible, but you are, all three of you are anointed and that just means that God's touch is on your life. His presence is on your life. And so when you sing and you give it back to Him, he comes and, and, and just, what, what I hear is I hear the Holy Spirit through your voices. And that's what makes me cry. And that's what makes me feel joy. And that's what makes me feel like 
we're going to make it. It's going to be okay. And God is so good and he is so faithful. So when I, when I hear you sing that song, Sophia, that's what it does for me. It just reminds me of how good God is. And you are just so beautiful. All of you are amazing. So how do you tell me about your singing? Tell me about what makes you love to sing. Is, is, is there, was there a moment where you knew I'm going to sing or did your parents just say, you're all singing? <laughs> um, for me, I started singing like just since five months ago because of Sophia. Sophia got me and Nathan into singing. Um, so that's how we started singing. And we, yeah. I started singing since I was like two years old. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. You guys, it's just, when your mom told me that you haven't even been singing that long, I could not believe it. I could not believe it. And you're so smart to use your gifts young. Use them and you'll just get better. Every time you sing, you're going to get stronger. You're going to get better and better. And so it's so smart to, to do that. And so I know you love to worship. What's worship? I know for me, I love to worship God and I love to sing God's praises because it brings his presence to where I am. And there's healing and there's hope and there's wholeness when we worship God and your songs that you're singing through your videos, through YouTube, we can feel that. Those of us that have seen your videos, we can feel God's presence. What is it about singing that you love and singing worship? What is it that you love? We love connecting with God in very different ways, like singing, praying, reading Bible. Yeah. No different yeah. songs. We like singing different melodies. Different melodies? Yeah, different lyrics. They're all different ways of worship. So. Now, now I, I hear some, do I hear some harmonies when you're singing too? Yeah. 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 Well, um, we started harmony when we did Lean On Me. And since now we can just pick up the harmony and now we just do yeah. harmony in lots of songs. Like, that is incredible. We have harmony unless it, yeah. Dad, Dad helps us with the harmony because... He makes the harmony. Yeah. He helps you? Yeah, yeah. The song that your parents wrote, I know they've written a lot of songs, but they sent me a song and they said, we ha we're not even songwriters and we wrote the song. And I thought, I know songwriters that wish they could write a song that good. So you guys <laughs> are really talented. I don't think you even know how talented you are, which is probably good. But I love that you, you just don't wait. You, your, your family and you guys have inspired me and my family just in the last few days, just watching what you're doing because I love how you want to encourage people. That is your heart. That's what your parents always say. We do this just to encourage the people. That's what we wanna do. We wanna make a video so that we can encourage people. We wanna write a song so that we can encourage people. Do you have a story? I know I have, a, I have several stories, but do you have any stories that maybe someone's written you or emailed you or told you of something that you've sung that really encouraged them? Besides me? So we've been getting comments and like messages on like Instagram and Facebook about people being touched by the presence of God, like things like crying, um, being smiling. Yeah, all the like chills oh, have their spine and goosebumps. Like the presence of God is in them and with them. So yes. that's really amazing. Yeah. It is amazing. And I, you know why? I think it's because the three of you are just so pure. You're, you're young and you're just so pure and you're just, your heart is just to sing and to worship God and God's presence can flow through you in such a powerful way, even though you're young and you'll never, ever forget that. And as you grow, you'll just experience God on such a deeper, richer level. And I would encourage anybody that's watching this today or tonight or whenever it is you're watching this, that you see these three young people and I'll just speak to you. Listen, whatever age you're in, at, you're at in your life right now, just give your life to God and give your gifts to God. Give your abilities, give your talents, even if it doesn't even feel significant to you. I can imagine that these three young people, children is who they are, couldn't imagine that their gifts would, could be used by God. They're too young. I can imagine that that's what they would think. We're too young. But they have parents that say, you're not too young. Use what you have and share it with the world. It's going to encourage somebody. And that is such a testimony. That has encouraged me to know that the three of you at the age that you're in right now, that you're willing to say, 
We're going to go get on a set and we're going to sing all day. We're going to get in a studio and we're going to sing this song 20 times till we get it right and get on a set and vi- because it's work. It's a lot. Is it in a lot of work? Yeah. It How is. many hours do you think one video takes for you to rec- to film? Uh, it depends on the song. If there's a lot of people in it, like that whole family stuff, that takes longer, obviously, because you got to right. more lines, spend more time recording the song. And you know, it, it, but it is, it takes energy, it takes time, you might get a little hungry, you know, you've got to sing the song again, maybe all, all of those things. But the fact that you're sacrificing your time to do that, you just have no idea how many people throughout the year, the years to come will bless people. So I want to ask Sof- Sophia a question. Do you have a favorite song? Yes. What is your favorite song? Um, I've got new favorite ones. And you do? My, and my really favorite one is How Great Thou Art. Oh my goodness. Have you recorded that one yet? Yeah. You, yeah. you have recorded that one? Oh, you have a video of that one? Yeah. Oh, I have to hear that one. I'm going to go search for that one. I bet you just do a fantastic job. How great thou art. When How great is thy faithfulness. We don't even really get to hear new versions of those songs because they're old hymns. Yeah. So the fact that you guys are taking older songs and redoing them and they're so fresh. It's so good. I just love you guys. I'm a big fan. You need to know that. I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of the creative trio. And I think you guys are amazing. And I'm just excited that I get to know you at this stage of your life because I know God's going to do great things in your life. Now, I know you did my song or you're doing my song because of who you are. Yeah. And I was about, I think I mentioned it a minute ago, but I'll give you a little bit more detail. I think I was in my late twenties, maybe early thirties when I wrote the song. And I remember my kids were really little and they were all playing in the bathtub uh, and they were real like little babies and they're playing in the bathtub. And I was just trying to get them ready for bed. And God began to give me the song because of who you are in that moment. And it was just really such a a moment of, well, I can't, I don't have a piece of paper to write it down. I don't have anything to record it into, but the song was just coming from the Holy Spirit, just being downloaded. And, And so I went and grabbed my phone and that was back in the day where we would, you guys don't remember this maybe, but we would have to, we would have voicemail well, we do have them on our smartphones, but I, I had to leave a voice memo on my on my phone. I had to call myself and sing it into my phone so that I wouldn't forget it because I couldn't leave the room with the kids in the bathtub. But that was such an incredible moment of me just doing just something that I did every day. Just was I just took it for granted, and the Holy Spirit said, "I have something for you now." And he that song was birthed. So I know you guys are in the middle of, of preparing and getting that song ready. How are you liking singing it? Are, are you are you feeling good about it? It's yeah. uh, an amazing song. I love the melody. It's a beautiful song. Yeah. It's, Thank you so much. It's simple, you guys. But powerful, and um, I'm so grateful. I mean, it's it's so awesome that a, a young generation of uh, young people still love the song and that just makes my heart feel so good and you guys are just amazing i just believe that god's going to do great things in you and through you and you know i would love to i'd love to just ask you a couple of questions i don't i don't want to i know you if you have any questions for me can you give us some tips to like singing i i don't know what tips i could give you you guys are amazing but let me think okay um what i would say is always sing for jesus but i think you're there um i think just constantly using your voices and vocalizing is really important and just continue to do what you're doing so that god's presence is always with you when you're singing and that his voice is on you when you're singing because when you open your mouth and you begin to sing worship this is why worship's so powerful is that healing comes to people and hope comes to people and joy comes I know I've experienced that just through the songs I've heard you sing. And many people have experienced that when they hear my music. And that's very, very important that we stay close to Jesus, that we stay in his presence, that we stay in his word, that we're obedient to whatever he's called us to do and, uh, and sing and write songs and, and branch out. And and you're, you guys are doing it. You're, I don't know what I can tell you that you're not already doing because 
you, you got it down. You're, you're, you're doing such a great job. Um, can we improve what we are doing? How can we improve what we are doing? That's a hard one because you guys are great. You know, just vocalizing every day. I'll tell you, back several years ago, because I was traveling so much and I was on a lot of tour buses. And so when we were done with the concert, we didn't get back to the bus till like sometimes 12 or one or even two in the morning. And so we weren't, eat, we didn't eat dinner until two in the morning and we would eat pizza because that's all that was available. And so then we would get on the bus and go to sleep. And I, over time, just with some of the, the crazy eating habits, I developed some stomach issues, the acid reflux, which caused some nodules on my throat. And I didn't know I had it. I didn't know. I knew something wasn't right, but I didn't know. So I just kept singing and singing and I damaged my throat. So, uh, and my voice. And so I've struggled. I struggled for a while to really get my range back. So I would just really encourage you to protect your throat, protect your voice and make sure you're vocalizing every day as much as you can. Don't over sing, but just keep your voice. And you're young, so you know, you, you've got lots of time, but always think in the back of your mind to make sure you keep, this is a muscle, your, your voice is a muscle. So you wanna definitely treat it that way and you wanna protect it and you want to stretch it. And um, yeah, that's, that's what I would say, how you can improve. And, and, um, and as you grow, listen to your parents because they're leading you in such a great direction right now. And um, they're finding great songs for you. I mean, you're, you're really, really hitting the mark. And maybe, I believe one day you can make an album, make your own record. Would that be exciting? Yeah. Yes? Yeah, it would. Yeah, it would be That would be great. Write your own songs, maybe do some cover songs like you're doing for your videos. And uh, you never know what God could do. You do never know. To do another one, a song of yours? Do you want to do another song of mine? Yeah. What song? Do you have a song in mind? Mm. I have a song in mind. Mm. I have a couple of songs in mind. Beauty. But I think there's a song called Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. Have you heard that one? Oh, no. yeah. We can learn well, it and do it. Well, we've heard say the name. Say the name is good too. Say the name. I, 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 I'm not going to argue with you on that one. I think that's a good one. Jesus is the best thing. Listen to it. It's a lot of fun. It's kind of like an island, like a reggae type of a song. It's really fun to dance and move to. And um, it's got a little bit of a, the long version has a rap in it. So you might like that, but it is just really, 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 really fun. And I love to sing it everywhere I go. And people love that song. So think about that one too. Jesus is the best thing. We'll have a Try it out. See what you think. A little later and um, see if we can do it. Yeah, try it and see if you like it. Um, I, you know, you guys need to come to Orlando at some point when this whole COVID thing is over and we need to go to Disney World. Yes. We need to go to Disney World and then we can go to Animal Kingdom. Would that be so much fun? Yeah. Yes. Sorry about yes. That. We would have so much fun and we could, we could maybe... We could even take a camera and maybe film while we're there and sing something and walk through the parks. <laughs> Together. Mm. We could do it. And then they'll catch us and tell us to stop, but we'll just do it until they, they stop us. But I'm telling you, you guys are just amazing. And I, again, I would encourage, you know, anybody that's watching this that have never heard of them to, to, to look and search for their music because it is a blessing and their songs, the way they sing and just bring the anointing is so beautiful and so powerful. You're amazing. Aren't we amazing? Yeah. Did you say I'm amazing? <laughs> that would that would be <laughs> Oh, that would be amazing, yes. <laughs> yes, I, I love that. Okay, so I think I have another question. Let me see, because I don't want to miss out on anything. Um, let me see. Awesome. You know, I want to ask you too, and I know we've talked about this a little bit, but why do you think it's important to encourage people. I think it's important to encourage, encourage people because some people need it and um, we hope for this season uh, lots of people like can be blessed by what we're doing because lots of people are struggling um, by this current season. They need freedom. They yeah. need a breakthrough. Yeah. Come on. You better preach. 
<laughs> That's exactly right. Yeah. And Jesus is moving in their lives. Yes, he is. And the whole world needs Jesus. Yeah. The whole world, the whole world needs Jesus right now more than ever because people have experienced loss and tragedy and they've they've experienced pain and there's a lot of hurting people. Yeah. I love how you guys encourage people. I love how that is your heart's desire and your goal in life is to encourage people. What is your future look like? What do you think that God's going to do in the future for you? To be honest, uh, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. You will take it one step at a time. And we'll uh, keep humble. Yeah. Just keep on. Yeah. Keep making videos, keep singing songs, keep writing songs. I would encourage you to write your songs too. Keep writing. If you haven't started writing, keep writing and hear what the Holy Spirit is speaking and, and say that. Like if you have your prayer time, your, your Bible reading, what, what scripture would make a beautiful song? You know, what, what scripture can you take and maybe just tweak the words a little bit or even use the, the words and put a melody to scripture? because that is what brings so much hope to people. And it's in the music because we live in a very divided world. I know in America, <laughs> it's very divided right now. It's just a lot of, you know, just infighting and problems and, and, the, and the, the, the things that the media keeps a lot of that stirred up. But the Holy Spirit has really spoken to me in the last few days and said, it's, it's music that's gonna bring us together. It's music that's gonna heal. It's songs of, of heaven that's going to melt hearts and and, and start to, to melt off the division and the disunity and all the arguing and all of the things that we're experiencing. But in the Holy Spirit through songs and through music and melody can heal and, and unite and reconcile. And that's really what I felt like the Lord has been speaking to me. And, and I'm gonna be writing more and more in the next few days to come. And, um, putting some you've inspired me because i've been so focused on you know pastoring because i did so many records but the lord has really put it on our hearts to to start writing some new songs so you guys have inspired me and so i'm getting back at it and um yeah thank you for that thank you for your gift and thank you for being obedient to the lord because you never know who you're inspiring when god's anointing moves it can really touch and change people's lives yes yes Yes, you just, just when God anoints you and God says do it, you just have to be obedient. And you can't, you don't, you don't want to put it off. You don't want to argue with God. You don't want to be disobedient. If he tells you to do something, you just have to trust him and do it because he'll take whatever it is you give him and he'll multiply it and he'll use it to bless people all around you and in your nation and even all over the world. So to be obedient is the best thing that you can do because God is God is waiting. He's just waiting for us to be obedient so he can take that and he can do something great with it. So you guys are amazing. We know that there are lots of people who are really doing it very tough during the season all from all around the world. We also guess that you have faced some hard times yourself. Can you please share with us and our creative trio family and they encourage us all keep being faithful, continuing to praise and worship God, no matter what, just like your song says. That is such a great question. And yes, I, I've, I've had some really difficult seasons, even since COVID started, just some things that have happened and maybe just feel like there's some spiritual attacks. And, and the latest thing is that um, a very close family member of ours just passed away this past Sunday and someone that I've grown up with and, and very close to and, um, and he, he, he got COVID and he was, he was elderly and he passed away, but he was very young and we thought we would have him a lot longer. And so it was still a shock in 84. He was a very young 84 years old, four year old man. And, um, so it's been devastating to our family and, to, to lose somebody that you love and that is so close to you and is such a big part of your family. But, but God began to speak to me that this is what many, many families are experiencing right now. And I, I really felt today the Holy Spirit speak to me and I was talking to my sister about it and we were crying together on the phone and the funeral is coming up in a couple of days. And, 
And we said, you know, it, it is not something we would ever want to go through. It's never anything we would choose, of course. But at the same time, we feel this ability to minister even on a deeper level to people. When you've lost, just like others have lost, when you, when you go and you grieve through things like others have grieved, we, we can't just live a life where nothing bad ever happens. We're going, we live in a world where things happen, but we trust God. And, and he, even when they happen, He protects us, He covers us, He's good to us, He rescues us, He covers us with His blood. And then still there are things that happen that can be tragic and devastating. And in those moments, like what we're going through right now, we put our trust in God because God knows things we don't know. God sees things we don't see. And God began to speak to me and said, I'm going to anoint you on a deeper level because of your pain. I'm gonna give you wisdom and insight to what others are going through so that you can minister to them because of your loss. And now you're going to be able to, to really see into their world and experience what they've experienced. And your, your ministry is now going to even be richer and even go deeper and even mean more to people and to you because of loss. So I encourage everyone, if you've lost something, even, the, even during COVID, maybe you've lost a loved one. I have a friend who had her whole family is in New York. And back when COVID started, she lost seven family members to COVID, seven family members. And she is full of faith. She's full of God's presence. She is just not discouraged at all. She's, she went through her grief and she said, God is on the throne. God is doing things we cannot see. And what God wants to show us that even through grief and loss is that we have to see with eternal eyes. Do you know what that means? No. When you see through eternal eyes, which means this world is not all there is. This world will end. Heaven is, is, is eternal. Heaven is forever. So no matter what happens on this earth, it's temporary. But heaven is forever. We'll live with Jesus. We'll reign with Jesus forever. And so even though these bodies might go away and pass away, we're present with the Lord as soon as that's what the Bible says. So there's so much hope to know that no matter what happens on this earth, heaven is our home. Heaven is our reward. And even singing about heaven and the celebration and the joy of heaven, I begin to think about my father who died a year ago who's there, and my stepfather who's there, and my grandmother and my grandfather who are there. And to know now that this family member is now at the throne room, greeting all the loved ones and, and dancing around the, the feet of Jesus. It makes my loss not feel so heavy. It, it makes me realize heaven is real and, and our loved ones are there. Our loved ones are there and we will be with our loved ones re, reunited soon. I'm not sure how soon, but soon. And that's the promise of eternity is that we'll all be together again. So whatever loss we experience here, it's just short term. There's so much more reward and, 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 and uh, just e eternal reward coming in heaven. So, you know, maybe we, we y'all need to write a song about heaven, sing a song about heaven and, and uh, bring some hope to people. Okay. Awesome. You guys are amazing. And I just wanna, can I just pray for you before we end this? I just wanna pray. Is that okay? I can pray for you. Father, I just thank you so much for these three young people. God, they're young, but Lord, their spirits are being used by you in such a powerful way. They, they, are, they are three young people, God, who are so anointed and so ready to serve you in every area. So I thank you that you're taking their music, you're taking their videos, and God, they're going all around the world to bring hope and encouragement and light and love to people. I pray that the Holy Spirit would just increase His presence on them, His power on them. God, I thank you for Nathan and Josiah and Sophia. I just thank you that there's an anointing, even, even in their youth, God, that they walk in greater anointing and greater authority. Father, for, even compared to people that are twice and three times their age, God, thank you that there's healing in their voices and there's freedom when they sing and there's breakthrough when they sing, God, and there's anointing on their music. And I just thank you that there is no limit 
to what you can do in their lives. I thank you, God, that you're bringing the right people, the right musicians, the right uh, cinematographers, the right connections ar around them, God. God, so, so that everything that you've planned for them to walk in, God, they would walk in it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Pastor Martha. That was so amazing. We've definitely been so blessed. You have a really amazing story, and it's amazing what God has done in your life, and we've been so touched by what you've shared today. Once again, we just want to say thank you so much for being with us here today and for the great blessing that you've you have been and to continue to be for this church. We feel so honored that you would take time for us and also for your blessings to a cover of this. For all our creative family and viewers, please post some comments about how blessed you have been by Pastor Martha's words today. <laughs> we really also... We encourage you to connect with her ministry by following liking and subscribing to her social media accounts. We'll post her links to the accounts in the description below this video. Thank you again, Pastor Martha. Thank you, it was my honor. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, let's not wait any longer. Let's play the song and while we do that, come on everyone, let's sing and worship out together. Let's tell God that we love him and he's everything that we need. Yay! Yay!